Hey guys, how are we doing? So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use a trend line. I've seen a lot of traders abuse trend lines. Like, when I mean abuse, like seriously, they're abusing trend lines. They're using it totally, I mean, very wrong way, okay? And this video, I'll teach you how to use a trend line correctly. When you use a trend line, there are a lot of possibilities that you can achieve with a trend line. But because many people are using it wrongly, they are losing money using trend lines instead of making money, okay? So stay tuned to the end of this video, there's a lot to learn. So if this is your first time on my channel, click the subscribe button um like this video and also key notification icons and every single time i do a video like this you do not get to miss out i bring out premium amazing juicy values on this channel every single week so um you can check other you know some other of my videos if this is your first time on my channel there's a lot you will learn on this channel right so let's dive right into the video i'll be going right into the chat let me teach you how to use a trend line correctly and how to avoid the mistakes that 99 percent of traders who attempt to use trend line are making you need to avoid these mistakes if you want to make money using trend line so let's dive right into the chat hey guys so welcome to my screen so i'll quickly share with you some i'll first of all share with you the mistakes that most traders make when they're attempting to use trend lines and how to actually avoid them then i'll teach you how to um, use trend lines correctly now um well this is a signal what you're looking at on the screen is a signal i just shared on the um our students um, channel and also on our free signal channel so if you're here to join the free signal group please go ahead join the free signal group a lot of people are making good money on the free signal group so it's a time to cash out okay so click the link in the description after watching this video join the signal group right or you can join the signal group then you can come back to this video anyway right so let's go ahead there's a particular um trade that i said i was going to use to explain um mistakes that people make when they try to use trend lines okay i taught um, part of this during the free uh, mentorship that we do every single um, week and i decided to actually do this again okay now let's go now here of course everyone knows what i, I assume you guys know what a trend line is trend line is simply a manual indicator that is used to actually try to you know um get dynamic support and resistances right when a dynamic so when a support and resistance level is not um you know at equidistant level use a trend line to actually try to get um you know the the dynamic support and resistances um, on a particular price or currency pair, right so this is what the trend line actually looks like right so when you draw a trend line you are attempting to um, get a support and resistance right now here is the mistake that people make a lot of traders make when they are using so um, in a trend line for support and resistance number one mistake they make is they are not drawing it correctly most times when people try to draw support and resistance level they are trying to get all the possible touches on a trend line for instance when most traders try to draw a trend line let's assume they want to draw a trend line on a chart just like this what they try to do is that they try to use the line to connect all the lows now that's not the correct way to do something like this you try to you know draw the trend line in such a way that it touches here touches here touches here touches or those are the possible touches now that's a wrong approach to using a trend line now let me show you how it's done when you're drawing a trend line you're drawing a, a you are trying to get the first two you're trying to connect this the last let's assume you, you want to start here right start this particular place where my cousin is right now right you want to start drawing a trend line you are trying to connect this support to this next support do, that's the first thing you want to do and then when you've connected made it to touch this first and the second support you now extend the line to wherever else that it might touch you're not trying to get the best possible touches then try to hope that the trend line holds you know going forward you the, how to draw a trend line is to connect the first two this is the first to support we're connecting make sure that it touches here touches here then we extend the line to wherever else it touches right so any other thing you see along here are like false breakouts 
false breakout false breakout don't try to get all the trend get it all you know to this point and try to make it touch everything it's a mistake why why i say that is a mistake and why it is a mistake is because you are already influencing your bias okay you are already convincing yourself that this is a dynamic support zone or a dynamic resistance zone you're already making the mistake of assumption okay this is what it is this is the dynamic support this one and this one you connect two lines connecting the both of them then extend the line any other thing that falls on top of it on top of it that uh you know on the line on top or maybe goes a little below it those are false breakouts and you should treat them as false breakout now for instance imagine um if we decided to you know go with the, the the conventional we are drawing this trying to get everything to touch and let's assume the market is somewhere here and uh, let me use a replay for this uh let's assume the market is somewhere here now because you have or you have sugar coated yourself into believing that this is where the trend line should be when the market got to this point this is where people get deceived you get to this point when they see this doji they will assume okay the trend line is going to hold it's going to hold again then what happens it's clearly broken broken through like it never existed right so but if you drew this correctly joining these two simple lines and then extending it Extending it, bearing in mind, bearing in mind that this is where the trend line started. This is where the line you're trying to connect, this one and this one. Then it becomes easy to actually tell that this trend line has actually been broken already here. It has already been broken through already here. Then the market did, uh, you know, came back to the zone again, then, you know, crashed all the way down. Okay. So it's something worthy of note. Now, another thing that you should also take note of is this right um the second this is the second mistake that people make a lot of traders make when they try to use trend line now the second mistake they make is that they put more emphasis on trend lines than the actual market structure be reminded that trend lines are simply manual indicators you are the one that drew the manual you know drew um, you know the trend line on your chart it didn't the chart did not come with the trend line you're the one applying it on the chart so you cannot be placing more emphasis on what you assume the market to be doing than what the market is actually doing no matter what is happening no matter what your trend line is saying market structure is king let me show you another um you know how how people do this and how they make mistakes using this now i also revisit because there are some other things i need to see about how to how i drew and how i connected that trend line right that's another that's like the third one okay so pay attention to what i want to say now before we go ahead and you know discuss the next step right now let's do this let's do this good now if you if you draw a trend line here if you draw a trend line here connecting this one this support here to this support from here connecting to this support to this one then extending the line you can clearly see right here that the trend line the trend line has been tested as a dynamic support multiple times there's the first second one third one fourth one here and what most traders do which is a mistake that they really make is that when they draw a trend line they totally forgot that they totally forget that there is actually a real support here this the trend line is your assumed support you are assuming that when the market comes to this trend line this will likely be a support but the market is already telling you right here the market is already telling you right here that this is a support this is a support right here this is already a support in the zone okay so what most traders do is that they once they draw trend line their mind just blinds out their mind just zones out of the market structure they don't regard the market structure anymore from what you can clearly see here this is a very powerful zone that has been tested both as a support and a resistance it was a resistance here 
resistance here support here and also a support here so in reality it's 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 it will be very unwise to place more emphasis on this line that you are assuming that would actually be a support placing more premium and emphasis on that line that you would than you would actually should be placing on where the real support is so what happens in this case what happens in this case is let me draw the support to cover all the zones here I think this is like the main zone if i want to capture this here and also this right here and this right here this should be like what the zone will look like right so what happened most times is that because traders assume have assumed their support using their trend line when the market now comes down this is where they will likely want to be selling they are all placing sell uh, sorry buy they're always placing buy 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 here and for some other traders because they are seeing this long red candle they are saying it's a breakout the market has broken the trend line the market has broken the trend line let's sell 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 and they totally forget that this market is right at a very viable support zone at a very very viable support zone so because of that assumption some sellers will be selling here uh, 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 uh some sellers will be selling at this point why some some sellers would have entered at this point where the trend line is this is where many traders would have clicked their buy on a lower time frame so what happens this red candle would go ahead stop out all the traders stop out all the traders who were buying on the trend line stop out all the traders that were buying on the trend line then all the traders that went on you know they are looking out for breakout forgetting that this is actually a support zone which invalidates their trend line what happens the market now retraces okay the market now bounces off that support zone which is where they should have been placing more emphasis on okay so this is a very a very common mistake traders make this is like the second common mistake i've already mentioned the first mistake is they are joining they are trying to get the best touches that should not be so the second mistake is that they forget market structure when they are trying to use a trend line okay now the third and the final mistake that a lot of traders make when they try to use trend line is that they are trying to draw the trend line from a very very far place right if you are a scalper if you're a scalper it's it won't be wise for you to be drawing a trend line on a daily time frame okay if you are a day trader you should not be drawing a, a a trend line from let's say a weekly time frame i mean it will really not be wise of you if you are drawing a trend line draw it on this area uh, on the on the time frame where you are looking forward to entry for instance if i want to enter a swing trade or a scalp trade on this particular currency pair i'll be looking for a trend lines to draw on a lower time frame i'll be looking for trend lines on a lower time frame if you decide if you want to get all the possible trend lines um possible trend lines in all the time frames man you go crazy because you go i mean you draw you draw trend lines and you really get confused you end up confusing yourself okay so the best way to do this is to um find a lower time frame and draw your trend line for instance if this is where i'm looking forward to you know entering a trade form i should not be minding this 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 um you know this trend line on a four hour time frame or uh you know on any other time frame that i'm not actually not i'm not looking forward to trading right so this is a good place to draw a trend line so you don't draw it too far don't try to connect from 1961 to 1945 down to 2023 that's not a very wise thing to do okay so draw it uh, you know draw trend line connect the most recent okay this is where to draw you connect this with this connect this with this then extend the line okay so this is what a real trend line should look like so if this market bound uh, you know gets to that um, the part this particular place where a trend line is you now start looking for entries here okay so let's say in this case so in this case as you can see this was a very good resistance it's like a morning um star candlestick pattern which is like really good um you know with another engulfing bullish candle so it's a good place to actually go long and if you did you would have made some profits on the trade, right from here to here you would have collected like good um, profit for yourself okay so that's actually how to draw 
trend lines okay don't go too far don't try don't start trying to connect um 1921 to 2023 it's not if it's not the right way to draw trend lines okay so these are the three mistakes that people make when they try when they're drawing trend lines and these are mistakes that you should avoid let me go over it again let me do a recap number one a trend line is a, a line connecting two support zones or two resistance zones and then extended in the hopes that when the market returns to that same line that the market um, the line will actually provide a form of dynamic support or resistance number two number two mistake that people make and you should avoid is the fact that when uh, you know when drawing, drawing trend line you do not disregard market structure especially when your trend line is very close to market structure please pay attention to the market structure more than you are paying on your trend line okay number three mistakes trader um, you know three mistakes that traders make is that they try to connect from the beginning of the chart to the end of the chart right you're trying to get the best possible trend line based on your style of trading if you're a swing trader you can draw your dynamic support and resistance zones um, using the trend line on a daily weekly time frame or whatever swing time frame that you can actually want to trade right but if you are a scalper draw your trend line on a lower time frame and stick to it okay so i do hope you've learned something amazing from this video if you watch this video to the end i would love you to subscribe to this channel click on the link uh, you know below this video there is a free signal group we have a free signal community where we share out amazing amazing opportunities in the forex market okay and how to maximize uh, you know make money using our signals it's totally free and secondly if you are yet to subscribe subscribe okay subscribe click the subscribe button click the notification icon so that you don't miss out on all the amazing values i bring on this channel every single week so cheers um smash the um smash the like button for this video of course before you go so i love you guys i'm reason for you my name is fx daddy from trade with cheers have a wonderful time trading the forex market bye